How y'all? How YouTubers? How y'all doing? I need a healing for my soul. 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 That's what this about today. It's about healing. This is not going to be a long video. I just came on here to talk about healing. And when I mean healing, I'm talking about healing internally and externally. You know, I have dealt with heartbreak and pain in my past. And it is not a good feeling. I'm talking about dealing with rejection, dealing with torment, dealing with letdowns, dealing with betrayal. I've dealt with it. I know how it feels. Dealing with sickness dealing with diseases. I know how that feels. So that's why I titled this healing. And that's why I sung that song by Kelly Price, a healing for your soul. Just even with mental healing, dealing with anxiety, dealing with depression, dealing with oppression. We all need healing when we're going through. Healing is so good to have. What can we do without healing? If we are healed, we can live a more whole and prosperous life and do more of the things that God wants us to do. So that's why I came on here today to talk about healing. When I was going through my healing, I had to do a lot of worshiping. I had to worship. I had to put on some praise and worship music and praise and worship God to break those chains. When I felt depression, oppression, rejection, let down, betrayal, I had to get in my secret place with prayer with worshiping, with fasting, and just give it all to God. Because I am a believer for all of you who watch this channel. I believe in the one and true living God. That's who I believe in. That's who helps me. And I'm just grateful on here to know that he has been healing me throughout these years. He's been healing me of the word curses. Have someone told you you were stupid or dumb or you wasn't going to be able to get that job. Or you, was too, you wasn't going to be able to go to college. Or you was never going to get the man of your dreams. Or you was never going to get that car. Or you would never get the home. It's people out there who say stuff like this. And then sometimes people say things to us that can be hurting. And then we don't know that we're hurting them. Just saying ugly things. That's why we have to ask God all the time. God put a watch over my tongue to help me to be slow to speak and quick to hear. That's one thing I had to learn. Tasha, be slow to speak and quick to hear. Because you don't know what you could be saying that could hurt somebody. Because you could be saying some things that could really harm people. And people don't realize that. What are you saying that's going to hurt somebody? Are we thinking about what we are we thinking about what we thinking about? Are we thinking before we speak? I see why when we were young, they say think before you speak. Because your words can bring a person to hurt, which means now they need healing because your words are hurting them. Do you want to be somebody who words are hurting someone? I know I don't. That's why I always have to watch what I say. <clears throat> and that's something I'm still practicing. Watching what I say. Yes, a healing for your soul will do us all good. I have some scriptures that you can also adhere to. I'm going to read these scriptures. Not a lot, just a few. Revelations 21 and 4. And God said, God shall wipe away your tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain for the former things of past. So what this scripture is simply saying, he will wipe away your tears. Whoever's watching this, there shall be no more death. Neither sorrow nor crying for you. Neither shall there be any more pain for the former things that you went through or passed away. Put your name in there when you read that scripture. So if it were me, I would say Revelations 21 and 4. Latasha and God shall wipe away all your tears from your eyes. There shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain for the former things of past. Mark 5, 3 and 4. Latasha, and he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. I always interject your name when you say the scriptures out loud. It's something about when you read the scriptures out loud. Peter 1, 2, and 4. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes Latasha, yea, were healed. And you put your name in.
This is for the ones who just broken hearted and hurt. Psalms 147, 2 through 4. The Lord thou built of Jerusalem. He gathered together the outcasts of Israel. He healed the broken in heart and binded up their wombs. He telleth the number of stars. He called them by their name, Latasha. So you want to put your name in there all the time because you want to make it personal, especially when you're talking about God. Matthew 4, 23. These are healing scriptures. And Jesus went about gaily teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of their kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of people and disease among them. Matthew 9, 3 and 5. Latasha. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues. Oh, I just read that one. <laughs> there is that speaking like the piercings of the sword, but the tongue of the wise is health, Latasha. Proverbs 12 and 18. So that's an example of some scriptures. I'm not going to read a whole bunch of scriptures because you know in the Bible it's a slew of health scriptures. But if you go to those scriptures and you apply them to your life, write them in a tablet or screenshot them on your phone, write them down, and you say them scriptures, like if you're going through healing, um, healing inside out, you just write those scriptures. You say those scriptures every day. Say them three times a day. I got this from another minister. Say them three times a day and speak them over your life today. Become, they manifest till it becomes real in your life. So that's the kind of things you can do when it comes to healing because we know we're in a broken world. When Adam and Eve ate the fruit, they brought sin on the world. That's why we have to deal with getting healed. Heal, and in, in turn, I was hurt, y'all, by relationships, looking for love. That's one thing I used to look for a lot when I was young look for love i used to be looking for love from men looking for love for my mama looking for love for my daddy looking for love for my children looking for love for friend from friends and you know people will betray backstab all of that so i am constantly in the process of healing i'm better because i know mankind and how they are and how they can be fleshly but i would encourage you on here today if you are looking for healing in your mind in your body just listen to some worship music seek out the lord Ask him to heal you. Lay hands on yourself if you're in pain. And ask him to heal you. If you're broken hearted right now from a relationship, if your mother turned her back on you, if your dad wasn't there, if your mother did your bad, your grandma, your family members count you out, if your children don't treat you right, if the neighbors don't treat you right, I would tell you that Lord would never leave you nor forsake you. He loves you. He wants to touch you right now. Whoever watched this video, surrender, raise your hands right now and know, raise your hands. Yeah, raise them. Raise your hands. Raise them. God heals you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You're healed. Put your hand. He's healing you right now. Inside out, healing in your mind and in your body. You are made whole. He breaks everything, every chain of bondage off, off of you. Every chain of, 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 of of confusion of strife of chaos of disagreements every chain of rejection he he's breaking it now off of you god is giving you peace he's giving you healing in your soul in your mind in your body in your heart in your thoughts so every word curse has been spoken over you over this lie over this video we cancel it right now in the name of the lord jesus christ we cancel every word curse y'all my phone ringing i apologize i hope it's not going back and forth i'm gonna try to wait till they stop calling He's healing you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He's healing you. He, you're made whole. He's healing you. 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 Woo, God is healing you right now. Any internal healing, he's healing you. I speak to your mind right now. He's healing your mind of any bad thoughts. We break. We break off bad thoughts. We break off bad thoughts. Any word curse, we break them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You're made whole. Heal. You're healed from any past um relationship problems any broker any time if a man said anything bad to you derogatory we we, we cancel those words anything your mother said that was bad we cancel it and rebuke it in the name of the lord jesus christ i speak healing over this video i speak healing to everyone who watches this healing in their body healing in their mind the lord wants you healed and whole you cannot work for the lord if you're, you're just broken up like that he wants you to be healed and whole delivered and set free healing in jesus name healing is yours ask him for your healing Start to worship him. Get you a playlist. Go on YouTube. Listen to some worship music. And just surrender. Just let it be you and God. Bask in his glory. Just let him just love on you. He loves you. He loves you. He lo Look at his smile on my face. See how he put a smile on my face? 
He put a smile on my face. Now I don't have to worry about that. Let's say they smile in your face all the time. They're trying to take your place. The backstabbers. Now, nah, cause God's smiling upon me. I ain't got to worry about the backstabber smiling in my face. Cause I got the love of the Lord on me and the light of him is shining all in me. So I'm telling y'all, if you want to be healed today, begin to worship, get a playlist. Worship is the first step so he can break those chains. It's something about worship that breaks chains. Then start you a fast. Maybe we, I'm going to come over here and fast one day too. Do like a, a fast every day. Pray and ask God what fast you should do. But if you don't know what to do, start with maybe an hour a day. A spiritual sister of mine told me it doesn't matter how long you fast. God will still honor it. So if you get up to say tomorrow, Saturday, if you get up, just say you get up at 9. You can fast from 9 to 12 or you can fast from... 9 to 11 and just pray during that time pray worship read your bible he will honor it people usually do six to six but i don't even think that's biblical but that's what they do but you still can do whatever god tells you to do so you do what god is leading you to do you don't do what other people say do so that's how fast it goes it's just abstaining from food or water or it's just from food so it's food and water but it can be just food too so that's what a fast is but if you worship him and fast Excuse me, and just pray and lay everything out. That man who hurt you, that woman who hurt you, whoever rejected you, whatever hurt you went through with your family. If your teacher talked about you, did you wrong, you need to be healed from that because God wants you to be whole. He says it. You are made whole. He told the woman who had the issue of blood when she touched him, he said, I felt virtue go out of my body. He looked at her and said, oh, get up. You've been made whole. He told that lady, you've been made whole. He told her, the woman with the issue of blood, let me see what scripture that is. He told that lady, you've been made whole. That's what he told a lady with the issue of blood. Y'all, my phone is really acting up. I can't. Yeah. What is going on? Y'all, somebody's out there throwing stuff. So it's in Luke 8, 4, 3, and 8. This is the scripture. And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years. I'm going to repeat that. And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years. Holy Ghost, help me. And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years. So one thing, she was a woman. Second, she had an issue. Third, it was blood. You know, when it comes to blood, you can turn anemic and die. So had an issue of blood for 12 years, which she spent all her living upon physicians. So that means she spent all her money trying to get help. And nothing helped her. A physician, which means we need the great physician. Neither could be healed of any. So she came behind Jesus, touched him on the hem of his garment, which is the bottom of the, the, the what did you call it? I want to say dress. The bottom of his garment. And immediately her issue of blood stopped. Jesus said, who touched me? When all denied, which everybody around them said they didn't, that they were with him, master the multitude, thung thee, and pressed thee, and says, Who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody have touched me, for I perceive the virtue is gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not his, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him, and how she was healed immediately. So she wasn't healed like years later like 12 plus three more years she was healed immediately as soon as she touched the bottom of his garment and y'all that scripture is luke 8 43 through 8 and that's the story of the one with the issue of blood only thing she had to do was touch jesus garment just quickly like that and he healed her automatically now she waited 12 years before she got a healing but when she touched his him or his garment she was healed so if she would have been turned over i guess to jesus she would have been healed is what i'm saying and she would have been got in contact with him so that's the thing what i'm saying to you today who watched this video you could get in contact with him right now and just touch his him or his garment right now through prayer and worship and fasting that's all you got to do whatever you can do if you can just pray right now do that if you could just worship do that whatever you can start with he wants to make you whole Healing is yours. Healing is your right. Healing is your right. Healing is your right. Y'all heard me read them scriptures. You heard me read those scriptures. Healing is our right. So know that it's your right and walk in it. He wants to see you made whole. 
he wants to see you be made whole. Yep, that's what it say. Healing is your right. He want to see you be made whole. So, whoever watches this, go and get your healing. Go and get everything God got for you. It's yours for the asking. Worship him. Get up, make it a habit of worship him on lunch break if you got to. Get up, get up early, worship him 15, 30 minutes. Then just start right there and just give it to him. Nobody can take the place of God. You can never put nobody in his place. Because when you do that, he's, it's not going to work. He would have no other gods before him. So surrender yourself to him and let him heal you internally from brokenness and externally. And heal inside, heal from pain. Goodbye, y'all. By Jesus' stripes, you are healed.